Hello, and welcome to my home. But before we get started, it's customary that anybody that enters between those two doors has a Polaroid picture taken of them. So if you don't mind, Welcome to my new home. I've just moved into it. You can see that I'm an avid collector of art in any form or fashion. Let's go. This is my kitchen. This, speaking of skateboarding, happens to be a cake that was just given to me by my friends that own a bakery in South Philly. And uh, they taught me how to bake my first cake, which I did today, and then they, they left me with a parting gift, which was a cake skateboard. So yeah, that's pretty fitting. Every one of these places are where I've been in sobriety and created new memories. As you can see, I'm pretty OCD, everything has a place. Although I don't drink coffee, I drink a shit ton of tea. And uh, I had to get a machine that could latte my milk because I like steamed almond milk in my tea. I know, yeah, you're bougie. I get it. I'm not bougie, I just know what I like these days. Let's get out of here. Kitchen bores me. This, this is my favorite piece of art in my, my whole house. I've acquired that in Barcelona, Spain, maybe three and a half years ago. Um, and I don't know, I'm kind of a fanatic for crosses, um, rosaries. Again, not religious, extremely spiritual. And, and, I, and Lord knows I need the help. <laughs> Come on, this is the bedroom. As you've heard it said, where the magic happens. So, this is Baltimore City. This is Baltimore City. I literally used to buy heroin behind this house right here. So I'd walk down that alley to the second house in, walk into the backyard and they would serve me. Um, so every morning when I wake up, that's the first thing that I see. You know, and it's a reminder, it's a daily reminder of where I could be again. You asked me earlier who my favorite band was. My answer, my response was the Baby Shambles. And this is them. This was my grandfather's. My grandfather passed it along to my father. Uh, my father is no longer with us. He died as a, uh, from addiction. But somehow this stood the test of time. And if you notice, it's the only thing that I've hung up on this brick wall because I think this wall in itself is art but that complements this. There's that. Come upstairs. But first, recognize the whole wall. <laughs> These right here are really rad pictures. These two right here tell a story actually. So this is me as a kid. I'm, I'm probably eight years old. I'm, I'm, I had just gotten sponsored by Pal Peralta. Um, but the guy below is Bucky Lasik. He was my mentor. He was the guy that got me sponsored. So that, that this right here kind of really tells a, a powerful story, if you will. Welcome to my office. This is where I come to think. This is where I come to read. This is where I come to work. This is where I come to be at peace. While I'm here, I might as well plug it. And also, read my new book, The Streets of Baltimore. Check it out. Um, this office is pretty symbolic of, of a lot of things that are important to me. Right here is an award that I was given by the DEA. I don't know if you heard me correctly, but this is an award that I was given by the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration. Pretty goddamn powerful. This is my grandfather. This is a really, really important picture to me. Um, this is the guy whose art hangs above my bed, that stained glass. The window was 
was honestly one of the selling points that, that made me want to purchase this home. When I, when I was looking, the, the agent said, you know, what are your requirements? And, and the very first thing on that list was I, I needed really big windows with a great view and I had to have trees outside the window. I think she achieved what I was looking for. My friends, it's been great, but the time has come for me to finish my book, which means you have to get the hell out of here. Until then, cheers. <laughs>